Someone said, oh, hip hop is dead in Nigeria. I don't believe that. techniques, universities, just performing, just doing our thing, we'll do rap, uh, we'll do songs like Cameo, Five Star, you know, Amazing, Bobby Brown, New Edition, and then at, at some point in time, I, I kind of figured that it was start to take it to the next level, so I decided to go solo, I felt like the others were not, didn't really want to be professionally, so I just cut out and I took on the name, Weird MC. I'm peculiar. <laughs> I'm different, I'm unique, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Wow, Ijoya started just with the bass line. Just one afternoon I was messing about. Um, because I was touring with a, a collective called the Shrine Sound System, I started to experience new music forms, you know, drum and bass, the garage sound, dance, the Ayanapa sound. So I started to get really, really influenced by listening to a lot of that. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome <laughs> Weird MC. Woo! It's time to show the beautiful people how we get still. It's time to show the beautiful people how we get still. And then one day a bass line just came. Ba -ba -da. Ba -ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. And I just started humming, I want I left it like that. I think like a month after, a soft hook came. You know, because I noticed that people would just do songs with major, major hooks, but they didn't have soft hooks. So I, I was thinking of a soft hook. So it really makes it really gone. Yeah. Really gone came. And I, I had this vision, the way I wanted the song to sound. You know, what I wanted, I wanted like a marriage of Africa and the West. So we had this crazy bouncy beat going on and I called up my friend, Ayo. He's a talking drum. I said, Ayo, you need to listen to this. I'm going to come up with a talking drum. And we just got together. I laid down a template, called up JJC, I said, JJC, I have this idea. I don't know if you guys remember the Afropian, you know, um, collective. They had JJC on the former line squad. They had, um, uh, they had the badge, they had Queen, uh, they had John Jazzy, and then JJC, who were like doing the productions. So I went to the back room studios in London, and when I played JJC the template, it was like, my goodness, this is crazy. So we started to record. So the very, very first session was just me and Don Jazzy. We laid everything down, we doing the vocals and everything. And then JJC came on board as well. They just, they just put everything together. That's how we gave birth to this gift called Jaya. Something about me, I don't like I don't like to sound like whatever has been done. I always like I just believe that you should always think like there's no box. So that was my that was my heart going into it. the Jaya song. I was like, I do not need to sound like anything out there. I, was, I remember I was telling my brother, but I was like, yes. He sounded fresh already. Then we started to put down the verses, the verses. He would throw in some things, put this in, put that there. And then that was it. And at the time, I was listening to a lot of Nelly, you know, those kind of guys, you know. And that, that so I sort of like uh, caught that bug as well. I said, you know what, I'm not going to do a dry rap. It's going to be melodic. It's going to be sing along. It's, it's, it's going to be loaded with hooks. But still, it's going to be like constructed. And my 
I said, I'm grateful. Well, at that, at that time of my life, actually, I was, um, I was already thinking about actually quitting music. I didn't want to do it anymore. And like I said, when I got in touch with the, um, when, I, when I came across the uh, Afropian guys, master plan was like, sis, what's going on? We're looking at you. You know what inspired us, so what's, what's happening? You've gone quiet. And JJ sits was saying, you've gone quiet. We, I mean, you, you inspire us. What are you talking about? So I'm like, okay. And that just like stirred up a hundred in me as well to just come back into, into the studio and just record, like I said. And then we like, we gave birth to this baby called DJ. Right. Someone said, oh, hip hop is dead in Nigeria. I don't believe that. No, come on. No. <coughs> Guys, calm down. <laughs> Fast the bad guy, the illness, illness is still doing his thing. I don't believe that. I just we're going through a phase, but I feel that um, you guys should be a bit open-minded and, and embrace some of the stuff that's going on. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you're crossing over, you're selling out per se. Just be experimental in your approach to how you put out the music. I've always believed in that. Be be experimental, you know. You, and then you must be able to adapt as well. Of course, without compromising, in a sense, I guess. We're even cooking right now. Uh, We're cooking right now. There's some stuff, there's some stuff, there's some bits and pieces even on my Instagram page. Yes, yes. Hip hop afro, kala kutare, umbado, we get a show now, different category. Leave it story, Coco. Leave it story, Coco. Or a lorry, Coco. Enjoy it. See the rapper and you are watching two, three, four. Nostalgia with Carnal, and this is my song, Ijoya. And I'm out. Brr, sham. Ah, 